gentleman from New York Reserves, the gentleman from Ohio is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I yield two minutes to the gentleman from Texas, Mr. Goldman. The gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, as had been said earlier by Darrell Isis, you know, it was Rahm Emanuel who pointed out, don't let a good crisis go to waste. So here we have a crisis on our southern border in Afghanistan, and what do we do? The majority comes in here and said, we don't want our, our, our members to have to vote on a $3.5 trillion spending bill, so we'll just pass a rule that says, without anybody voting on it, we pass a $3.5 trillion spending bill, and then we'll immediately jump over to a nobleman with a great name that did such great work for America, along with Dr. King, John Lewis, the John Lewis Voting Rights Act bill. Well, I was here when that was reauthorized, when that was redone, and I begged, after talking to some liberal constitutional professors of law, I begged Jim Sensenbrenner and John Conyers not to go forward with Section 4B the way it was in Section 5. Let's do this right so that it won't be struck down. Mr. Sensenbrenner was not open to that whatsoever. John Conyers, to his credit, was. I said, please talk to some professors. Let them tell you it's at risk of being struck down. And he said, well, they say there's a decent chance of that, but let's see what happens. What happens now? We come in here and we're going to disenfranchise American voters by taking over the voting across America. The Constitution reserves those provisions to the state's legislature. We shouldn't be doing this. Back after the 2000 election when there were some people in Florida that were not as smart as fifth graders because they couldn't figure out the butterfly ballots, this body jumped in, took over, and said, everybody go to electronic ballots and electronic voting, and they have cost us misery ever since. Let's let states and local government do the job the, gentleman's the Constitution time has expired. gave them. I the gentleman from Ohio reserves.